Hi guys, so welcome back to the uh, strength playthrough. Um, so we're just on the first part of the, uh, the swamp area, I don't know, what is it called? It always skips me some of these names. Um, of Howling Pit. So I finished the first part, we've got some uh, stuff, vestiges for Atlas. So let's go and restore those. It seems I can, if you find it could... So just got the one part. We're still missing Alice Vestige Part D. That'll come a bit later on. Skip this. Uh, so we don't even need to come here for uh, just yet. We could have held out uh, until we got the last part. Uh, but I just wanted to like uh, power up the the weapon. Up the Zoyanda. Yeah, I start to wonder. It all well, it's not like I'll find the answer now, no matter how many times I ask. And we might as well, might as well start using Atlas. Um, yeah, might as well start using Atlas. It's gonna give us uh, more damage, um, as well. So let's um, speak to these guys as well. Most human, but a thirst. Luckily, even the lost, we don't have. Okay. If we can acquire anyone else's uh, stuff, but I don't think we can yet. Um, okay, so now we have Haze. So let's try it now. Tra tra trans transform weapon. Uh, Zoyhander. Fortification. So I picked up the, uh, the Atlas Chrome in the previous video. Um, again, if you didn't pick it up in the previous video, you can do it this time. You'll have a few better weapons to trade, uh, such as the the sake and the um, what's the other one? A bugarelli doll, bugarelli doll. That one. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna fortify this. I know that's gonna increase our block uh, attacks as well. So we're not gonna take. So we're gonna take zero damage when we block attacks with this weapon. Um, for most attacks, there are some that are still going to get through, uh, but okay. for the most part, we're pretty good. So we're at plus three. Uh, so let's sort out the rest of the build. Let's unlock some skills. So what's on the assassin as well? Um, overdrive temporarily increases your and your partner's attack. The effect ends when you take damage. Uh, so that could be nice to get. Just to kind of, as long as you don't get hit, you can do more damage. Uh, numbing mark temporarily applies the stun effect to your current weapon. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and see if we can get this. Um, let's acquire, acquire our other skills first. I'm being behind again. Uh, so you guys will already have Atlas, or should do. I haven't picked it up yet, so let's go do that now. It's a symbol of trust. Go on, take it. Okay, now I've got Atlas on this character. Let's get some uh, get some abilities for it. Um, so torment and blast. This is a nice one, a nice skill to have. So only two attacks. So we're just like at a whirling animation, and it gets in there pretty quickly. Um, so what else do we want to get? Uh, guard reversal is going to be nice. Hey. Uh, if we pop this, it doesn't last for too long, but it puts it gives us that buff. So then, whenever we're blocking, and someone attacks, it's going to put them into a stun state, so we can get some extra hits in. Uh, Flash and Fang, not too bothered about that one. Uh, okay, greatly reduces damage, increases your drain rate rating when you guard when you guard an enemy's attack. Uh, so let's just make sure we can get these. Okay, 
this one. Right, I'm just going to buy all of these abilities. We're going to be using this for a while, so. There's no reason not to get them. Uh, and this one, Impact Wave. Um, we're going to get this at some point, but it's 36,000 haze at the minute, which we don't have. Um, and let's see if we can get Overdrive as well. Let's see if we've got enough uh, materials to max this out. Okay, we do. So that just takes Awake MJ109. Let's unlock that. Um, yeah, so by unlocking it with Haze and then pressing the triangle, uh, we can maximize its uh, experience. So that automatically makes it a skill that we can switch out. We didn't want anything else just yet. Okay. Nice. Um, let's just switch up our build. So yeah, now we can uh, move on to Atlas. So we're going to have a, a, de a decrease in HP and stamina. We're going to have better scaling. Uh, so slightly more attack. And more defense as well. Let's just throw that one on there. And then we can uh, sort out our build for what we want. So I'm going to go with health to start off with. Stamina. Uh, resilient focus. For now. And also, I'm going to get both of these for now just so we can uh, uh, acquire them. And then attack up. Okay, so we need to see index to use this ability, um, which we may come across later on, and it could still be a worthwhile buff later on in the build. Um, but yeah, for now we'll just uh, equip some other stuff. Torment and Blast. Let's get that uh, easy dodge back on the bottom one. Uh, this ability here. Um, rest restorative Offering. Uh, this is for your partner. So if they die, or if you want to increase their health a bit, it takes them your health and transfers it to them. Um, it gives them an extra life, basically. But we're not going to worry about that. Let's get the defensive one again. So I'm going to switch to this one. As it says, greatly reduces damage. They're both for five seconds. Try that one. Uh, and again, on the bottom, I'm just going to put abilities that are going to uh, that are just going to want to skill up. Um, I think that is it. So actually, if you wanted to, instead of doing the dodging, you could put guard reversal up uh, and do it that way. But I just like having that uh, that easy dodge there. Okay, so I've told for way too much. Let's just get back into it. So we're going to teleport to the Howling Pit on the Hills of Deception. Um, okay, and then we're just going to go down this this pathway. I hope something turns up. This lever might be our ticket. Contraption. <sighs> that was a slog. Uh, so I just want to see if this uh, this guard break works. So yeah, so we're taking like zero damage from uh, from most attacks, so we can literally just start, stand there and guard, let them finish our attacks up and just counter, which makes things a little bit easier. That makes it easier to get around. We'd fall if the water was still here. We'll put that to good use. Um, 
okay, so let's head across the edge. So these guys, you can see, they're just hanging over the edge. You can just smack these before they get up. Unless it wants to auto target the slimes. And then we've got this guy. Um, <coughs> just put a little defensiveness on there as well. Um, actually, I'm some guard. Let's see how this works out. So I think we can block most of this guy's attacks. Yeah, we're good with that. Just gotta try and attack at the right time. Is really fast as well. Let's pick up this. Wow. Apart from that ability. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Uh, we heal. Let's get a second heal up. We can like, uh, if he doesn't do his charge, he might do his charge. Um, so we can kind of cheese this guy as well, if we kind of go to the edge. If we can find him again. There he is. Got that ability. Definitely don't want to be too over eager with this guy. Shh! No! <laughs> so he knocked us over the edge. Okay, there is always that as well. Don't go too close to the edge. Morning, sunshine. Oh, God. Enemy but yeah, that guy is an absolute pain. Take this guy out if I can reach him. Um, it's around here. Um, okay, so not. Let's go get our haze first, just in case. Okay, it's attacking already. So I'm just gonna buff up normally. Get hit like a motherfucker. This guy is ridiculous. Maybe I'm just rubbish at this game. Just throw this up. Oh, 
boys and guys. Wow, so that was like really sloppy, really bad. Please down. Jesus Christ. Okay, it sounds a bit of a pain to deal with. Um, but yeah, it's like, it depends on, like, sometimes it's not that difficult to deal with. It's pretty tough to me. Zero damage. Okay, so we need to head right first up here. Um, it gets us the first en enemy. It's another big guy, um, but we can. Let's just heal up first, just in case. Uh, but you can kind of like cheese him from down here. Gonna run out of stamina there. Those bastards eat any damn thing in front of them. Okay, assassin vestige pie. You can't go ahead on your own. The water is gone. Now we can see the clip. Always remember to watch it. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's another one of those meatballs right here. Just let it fall off the edge. Um and then we've got poisonous. Three. Where's the uh, I'm just trying to think where the flower is or the missile to show the map. It might be the last one. Um, this one's fairly straightforward, just come to the right side, take these guys out, push them over, push them over the edge. Um, there's a few, like in this place there's a lot of those guys that just hang, so you could just kind of like chop them off the edge. Spotless Vestige Part D. I think that's the last one. Okay, I'm just heading, keep heading up this way. I'm pretty sure there's no items down there. So I'm not gonna be missing out on anything. Right. 
run over and hit this guy. Um. You're low on healing. Do you want to keep going? Is that a pretty nice dex weapon? I'm on my way. Good. Now we have something to mark our way. Okay, so we're gonna head down here first. This is gonna be where that uh, there's a missile up there. And um, but I wanna go this side first, just for that chest. I haven't got my my arrow out. Just put that in there. Let's get this chest. This is the best weapon in the game. <laughs> Impaler plus three. Probably not the best. It's one of my favorites though. Especially for a dex build. Now we can rest some. Um, okay, so before I go ahead anymore, I'm gonna quickly run back to town and get this last uh, vestige repaired uh, to unlock more skills. That's going to give us an advantage in the next area. Uh, when it finally loads up. just go so that's gonna give us some more skills <laughs> um, so let's inherit some more gifts let's go back to Atlas what did we ah, okay so we got a uh, so we got two-handed soul mastery that's what we're gonna be wanting to get So let's head back. 